In the history of computer and video games, the third generation sometimes referred to as the 8-bit era began on July 15, 1983, with the Japanese release of both the family computer referred to in Japan in the abbreviated form, Famicom, and later known as the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, in the rest of the world and SG-1000. This generation marked the end of the North American video game crash, and a shift in the dominance of home video games from the United States to Japan. Some features that distinguished third generation consoles from most second generation consoles include D pad game controllers, screen modes with resolutions up to 256 240 or 320 200. 25 to 32 colors on screen from a palette of 53 to 256 colors 64 to 100 sprites on screen each with 4 to 16 colors and 8 times 8 to 16 times 16 pixel sizes up to 5 channel primarily square wave mono psg audio the best selling console of this generation was the NES Famicom followed by the Master System and then the Atari 7800 Although the previous generation of consoles had also used 8-bit processors, it was at the end of this generation that home consoles were first labeled by their bits. This also came into fashion as 16-bit systems like the Mega Drive, Genesis were marketed to differentiate between the generations of consoles. In Japan and North America, this generation of gaming was primarily dominated by the Famicom, NES, while the Master System dominated the European and Brazilian markets. The end of the third generation of video games comes as 8-bit consoles become obsolete in graphics and processing power compared to 16-bit consoles. History The family computer commonly abbreviated the Famicom became very popular in Japan during this era, crowding out the other consoles in this generation. The Famicom's western counterpart, the Nintendo Entertainment System, dominated the gaming market in North America, thanks in part to its restrictive licensing agreements with developers. This marked a shift in the dominance of home video games from the United States to Japan, to the point that Computer Gaming World described the Nintendo craze as a non-event for American video game designers as virtually all the work to date has been done in Japan. The company had an estimated 65% of 1987 hardware sales in the console market, Atari Corporation had 24%, Sega had 8%, and other companies had 3%. The popularity of the Japanese consoles grew so quickly that in 1988 EPYX stated that, in contrast to a video game hardware industry in 1984 that the company had described as dead, the market for Nintendo cartridges was larger than for all home computer software. Nintendo sold 7 million NES systems in 1988, almost as many as the number of Commodore 64s sold in its first five years. Compute, reported that Nintendo's popularity caused most computer game companies to have poor sales during Christmas that year, resulting in serious financial problems for some, and after more than a decade making computer games, in 1989 EPYX converted completely to console cartridges. By 1990 30% of American households owned the NES, compared to 23% for all personal computers, and peer pressure to have a console was so great that even the children of computer game developers demanded them despite parents' refusal and the presence of state-of-the-art computers and software at home. As Computer Gaming World reported in 1992, no matter how fast your 486 is, you still can't play Super Mario 17 on it. The kids who don't have access to video games are as culturally isolated as the kids in our own generation whose parents refuse to buy a TV. Nintendo's market domination, while overwhelming in sheer number of units sold, was not global. Although the NES dominated the market in Japan and North America, Sega's master system made large inroads in Europe, Oceania and Brazil, where the NES was never able to break its grip. The Atari 7800 also had a fairly successful life in the United States. Sega was Nintendo's main competitor during the era in terms of market share for console units sold. 
Unlike the NES, Sega's SG-1000 which preceded Sega's more commercially successful Master System initially had very little to differentiate itself from earlier consoles such as the ColecoVision and contemporary computers such as the MSX, although, despite the lack of hardware scrolling, the SG-1000 was able to pull off advanced scrolling effects, including parallax scrolling in Orgus and sprite scaling in Zoom 909. In 1985, Sega's Master System incorporated hardware scrolling, alongside an increased color palette, greater memory, pseudo-3D effects, and stereoscopic 3D, gaining a clear hardware advantage over the NES. However, the NES would still continue to dominate the important North American and Japanese markets, while the Master System would gain more dominance in the emerging European and South American markets. In the following generation, Nintendo would also introduce the Game Boy, which almost single handedly solidified and then proceeded to dominate the previously scattered handheld market for 15 years. While the Game Boy product line was incrementally updated every few years, until the Game Boy Micro and Nintendo DS, and partially the Game Boy Color, all Game Boy products were backwards compatible with the original released in 1989. Since the Game Boy's release, Nintendo had dominated the handheld market. Additionally two popular 8-bit computers, the Commodore 64 and Amstrad CPC, were repackaged as the Commodore 64 Games System and Amstrad GX 4000 respectively, for entry into the console market. This era contributed many influential aspects to the history of the development of video games. The third generation saw the release of many of the first console role-playing video games RPGs. Editing and censorship of video games was often used in localizing Japanese games to North America. During this era, many of the most famous video game franchises of all time were founded that outlived the third generation and continued through releases on later consoles. Some examples are Super Mario Bros., Final Fantasy, The Legend of Zelda, Dragon Quest, Metroid, Mega Man, Metal Gear, Castlevania, Fantasy Star, Megami Tensei, Ninja Gaiden, and Bomberman. The third generation also saw the dawn of the children's educational console market. Although consoles such as the VideoSmarts and ComputerSmarts systems were stripped down to very primitive input systems designed for children, their use of ROM cartridges would establish this as the standard for later such consoles. Due to their reduced capacities, these systems typically were not labeled by their bits and were not marketed in competition with traditional video game consoles. Market share The Nintendo Entertainment System NES, Family Computer Famicom sold by far the most units of any third-generation console in North America and Asia. In North America in 1989, between Nintendo and Sega, there was a 94% to 6% split between the two in market share between the NES and the Master System, in Nintendo's favor. By 1992 in North America, Nintendo had a market share of 80%, followed by Atari's 12% and Sega's 8%. This was due to its strong lineup of first-party titles such as Super Mario Bros., Metroid, Duck Hunt, and The Legend of Zelda, and Nintendo's strict licensing rules that required NES titles to be exclusive to the console for two years after release, putting a damper on third-party support for other consoles. Atari, on the other hand, fared a bit better than the Master System in North America, but still finished a distant second place. In Europe, competition was tough for the NES, and was outsold by the Master System despite the hegemony that it had in the North American and Japanese markets. In North America, the Atari 7800 and Master System were discontinued in 1992, while the NES continued to be produced for several more years. In Europe, the Master System was finally discontinued in the late 1990s. However it has continued to sell in Brazil through to the present day. In Japan, Nintendo Co. Ltd. continued to repair Famicom systems until October 31, 2007. <laughs> Consoles Topic Comparison Topic Other Consoles Topic Sales Comparison
Topic: Software. Topic Milestone titles Alex Kidd in Miracle World SMS by Sega featured Sega's original mascot, Alex Kidd. Although this game failed to compete with Super Mario Bros., this game was successful in PAL region as it was built in consoles by default. Castlevania NES by Konami, is based on Bram Stoker's Dracula, featuring Count Dracula as main antagonist of series. This game initiated the Castlevania series. Dragon Ball, Dragon Daihikyo SCV by Epic was the first game based upon the now long-running manga and anime series, Dragon Ball. Dragon Quest NES by Chunsoft and Enix introduced the Dragon Quest series in 1986, and has created a phenomenon in Japanese culture ever since. Final Fantasy NES by Square started the Final Fantasy series in 1987. The Legend of Zelda NES by Nintendo EAD and Nintendo initiated the Legend of Zelda series in 1986. Mega Man 2 NES by Capcom was the breakthrough title in Capcom's Mega Man series. The series would have a number of additional hits on the NES, and would later spawn several successful spin-off series. Metal Gear MSX2 by Konami initiated the Metal Gear series in 1987. It was released for the MSX2 computer and remade on the NES shortly after. Metroid NES by R&D1 and Nintendo initiated the Metroid series in 1986. Fantasy Star SMS by Sega Consumer Development Division 2 and Sega is considered one of the benchmark role-playing video games, and is among the first to use a science fiction setting, and to feature a female protagonist. Super Mario Bros. NES by Nintendo EAD and Nintendo was bundled with the NES and became the best-selling video game of all time, a title it would hold until 2009. Countless imitations of the game would appear for the course of the console generation. Super Mario Bros. 3 NES by Nintendo is widely considered the best side-scrolling platform game of the generation, as well as topping many best game lists for the NES. Its jumping physics, world map segments, where player can choose path, served as formula for later Mario 2D games. See also Fourth generation of video game consoles Second generation of video game consoles History of the Nintendo Entertainment System Home computer